Players Association members. Memory is the power of the mind to remember things. I was seven when I first saw him. An imposing figure, arms crossed, stoic on the sideline, but he was anything but silent. What the hell's going on out here? All he does is win, my grandfather told me. He embraced the cold snow, the blustery winters in Green Bay, and watched him win. I was 11 years old. I sat in the stands with my father and watched his hero wave one finger in the air, signaling victory. An act of brilliance, he called it. Broadway Joe. Impenetrable, imposing, relentless, they said. It was as if the other team was going backwards. Gold towel in hand, waving proudly. I cheered the menacing havoc of the steel curtain. It's amazing how certain moments in the past play out like pictures in your head. Montana drops back, the ball in the air for what seemed like hours, and then out of nowhere, two hands soaring to the heavens. Clark by Clark! Clark by the touchdown! Securing the catch. Watching Barry was like watching Fred Astaire on the football field. It was a dance recital, only his audience was the entire city of Detroit. You only root for one team, and that's America's team. A star on their helmets, a star in the middle of the field, and stars in every position. There was a memo sent out to the league that night. <laughs> Brady had arrived, and New England had a hero for years to come. For just one night, all was forgotten. The emotion of that game gave us all the sense of hope. We were, we were all singers, not just the city of New Orleans, but all of us. No one deserved it more. The conductor of the Indianapolis Orchestra, known as the Colts, had finally silenced his critics. The Colts are world champions! He had no idea what he was doing. He ran backwards, scrambled, closed his eyes as he took a hit, and let it fly. The next thing I saw was the ball into a home. The more I watched Aaron play, the easier it became to move on from Brett. When he brought us the title, number four was a distant memory. All we ask is that you think about the effect this lockout will have on the fans. Please don't forget about our memories and deprive us of having more. Sincerely, the fans of the NFL.